Greetings, Wisconsin Heights School District staff members. Jordan here. Uh, hopefully the first week of the enhanced online learning has gone great for you. I've heard very positive things from our community. And as a parent, I can say very positive things as well. So great job and keep it up. Uh, the Wisconsin Heights School District has been great. It's been great because of its people. And for that, thank you very much. Uh, but as you're aware, on November 3rd, 2020, the Board of Education has placed a referendum on the ballot. Uh, the referendum's for $27 million and we would have a new elementary school constructed on the site of the middle school high school. And we would also have approximately $5 million worth of renovations to the middle school high school facility. Why is this important? We have done uh, many things the last three years to try to show our appreciation for staff. We're trying to compensate you at a competitive level and make adjustments to the handbook to show commitment to our staff members. But we're to the point where our facilities need updating. Without, without a referendum, we're gonna to need to use significant operational dollars uh, dollars that could be used to support staff, and most importantly, dollars that could go to the education of the students in the Wisconsin Heights School District. For you, this is about learning environment, and it's about work environment. We have issues, leaky roofs, hot classrooms, cold classrooms, inefficient systems. We all know that kids cannot learn at the highest level, and you cannot work at your highest level if a room's way too hot or way too cold. The benefits of a single campus and working here uh, eliminate staff travel time. We eliminate lost time where you could be in front of students and instead you're in your car. We can reduce our operating costs. We can invest those dollars, which are significant, into student learning and the staff. Greatly improved work environment. This could positively impact 785 students and 135 staff members. You may wonder what's in this for the staff or what could happen to staff. Uh, if the referendum is approved in November, we're gonna have two plus years to work on staffing adjustments. We have no intentions uh, to cut staff members. If we have opportunities where we could save, it would be through attrition, not through cuts. The Wisconsin Heights School District has not passed a referendum since 1994. 26 years. This is longer than any school in Dane County, and this is also longer than any schools that border the Wisconsin Heights School District. Uh, simply put, we have not passed a referendum in over a generation of students coming through the Wisconsin Heights School District. I understand these are very unique times. Uh, I've lived through it too, both professionally and personally, but the projects are not getting less expensive. We're gonna emerge from the pandemic and when we do, we wanna be ready. And you've done a great job in adjusting and being flexible thus far. We could be in a new elementary school by the fall of 2022 and the middle school, high school renovations could be done by that time as well. The most important message I share with you is we need you to get out and vote. The vote's on November 3rd, 2020, so please get out and cast your ballot. Thank you very much and go Vanguards.